Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. A few weeks ago, or it might have been a couple days ago, I can't really remember. It's been hectic around here, but I did a review on a keyboard I bought on Amazon by a company named Re, Real Internet Idea. It has a nice giant trackpad, and I love this keyboard here. A few days after I made the video, I was contacted by the company and they asked me if I would do a review on their wireless air mouse keyboard combo. This thing looked cool, so I said yeah. They sent it to me. And before we get started, I wanna let you know that if this product sucks, I'm gonna tell you that it sucks. I'm not worried about hurting the company's feelings at all, so let's get into it. What we have here is the Re Mini i28C. Looks really nice. Um, I don't have a media remote for my Android TV. I don't have a media remote in general. This should work with my Windows PC, my Kodi box, Android TV, or the Raspberry Pi, even Mac. Let's go ahead and unbox this and see how this thing looks. First up out of the box, we have the charger cable with an extension cord because it's kind of short there. Next thing we had in the box was a little thanks card. Now I know this doesn't mean much to a lot of people, and they do throw it in every box, but a lot of companies don't do this now. This is pretty cool that they do this. And we have the user manual. We're not worried about this stuff. I wanna see the keyboard. And here it is. Very cool looking. It's very reminiscent of the text pad for the Xbox 360 remote or something like that. It's very light, but it feels pretty sturdy. I mean, it's not super cheap. We do have an R button, an L button, our charger port, our on and off switch here. So you could probably set this up as a SNES controller or something like that. We don't have analog sticks. We do have a center button here. Full QWERTY keyboard, which is very easy to reach with my thumbs. This is gonna be an awesome addition to the living room for Cody. Let's turn it around. Another thing I noticed right off the bat was these textured grips on the back side. Cool little addition to this keyboard. This thing's about 27 bucks. So far it's looking really good, but we need to see how it performs. We have a bay on the back that I need to open up. If I can open it up. And that contains our USB dongle. Let's turn it on. Oh, I already turned it on. Function, lights. So I'm gonna turn the lights off because the full keyboard lights up itself. Now it does pull 100 milliamps while the backlight's on and 60 milliamps while it's off. They don't give me any specs on how long this thing lasts, I suspect it has a 300 to 400 milliamp hour battery built into it, so three to five hours, depending on backlights off, backlights on. That's my guess. So yeah, lights up pretty bright. That's a really cool addition to this little remote here. Trackpad in the middle. Now with this thing, the trackpad can be useful if it works well. I know the trackpad on the other keyboard I got from them works amazing. So I'm hoping sort of the same technology. It's not as big, but we'll see how it works out. So now I know how it looks and feels, and I really like the way it looks and the way it feels. We're gonna move over to a Windows PC, test it out there. Then I'll move to an Android TV box, and then we'll move to the Raspberry Pi 3, running Raspy and Jesse. All right guys, so I'm here with my Windows PC. I have the Re Mini i28C connected and the trackpad is freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and open up Google Chrome. Double tap on the trackpad, opens it up for us. Um, shoot, where can I go? I'm just gonna go to Craigslist, dude. Always searching for a good deal here. Computers. Accessories, let's see what we got today. 
and I'm scrolling down two fingers on the trackpad, scroll down, swiping down, swiping back up. Yes, very nice. What do we got here? HD, nah. So yeah, now I definitely wouldn't recommend playing PC games with this, but if you want to browse the internet with this little, uh, I don't even know what to call it. I mean, controller keyboard, who knows? Really cool, and I love the LED on it. So let's move over to my Android box and see how it performs on there. Here we are with my T95Z Plus 8-core Android TV box. I have the Re Mini plugged in. Mouse works great. Let's just go to, let's go to the App Store. One tap opens it up. Scrolling down, scrolling down. This is really cool. Okay, so I've never really even thought about getting one. I've seen them all over. Oh yeah, because my keyboard's on down here, so I have to hit the search button. And I do own this. We'll just open this up. Yeah. Cody, see how it performs there. I run a build of Pulse, really love it. The volume key works on the keyboard straight out of the box. Okay, and the right control button is scrolling here. Need to remind me later. The center right button is my OK button. This can definitely work out. Now, this is the first time I've ever used it, so I'm kind of just... Uh, Trying to get used to it right now. And we're not going to watch anything. I just want to go through here. Yeah, I mean this... I really do like this thing. And I'm not just saying that, guys, because they sent it to me for free. I'm telling you. I don't mind hurting their feelings, but I got to say, this is really cool. And for the price, it's $27. You might be able to find something cheaper, but I haven't seen anything that looks like this. And the performance is outstanding for the price. So one of my main things is searching in Kodi. Let's see here. I hate using the on-screen here. So let's just see. I know we just saw it, but. And I'm going to have to hit the done button. Perfect. So I want to go home. I'm going to click function and the win button. So that's that. Works perfect with the Android box. One of the things is I don't know how long the battery is going to last. I have a feeling three to five hours, depending if you have the backlight on full blast all the time. It feels very light. So I'm only guessing, now this is a guesstimate, that there is a 300 milliamp hour to a 400 milliamp hour battery built into this because it is rechargeable. So here we are with my Raspberry Pi running Raspbian Jesse with Pixel and the trackpad is really good within this image here. Now I haven't tested it on any other Linux images, but I'm sure it's gonna perform just as well. One swipe all the way across the screen. You can turn it down up here. I've had trouble with Logitech trackpads and the Raspberry Pi or Debian builds in general pretty much, even on PC. This thing works great. Let's go up to the web browser and I'm just gonna search YouTube. If you run Raspbian, you know how crappy YouTube runs. The QWERTY keyboard is really nice on it. It has a good feel to it. Not too squishy. It's got a little bit of a click. I do enjoy this little thing. And that was not the keyboard. That was the OS that took time to catch up with me. 
One of the cool features is, I didn't show you on the other OS's, was it has an L button here on the top, like an L trigger, left trigger, and it also has a right trigger. So that's a plus there. Overall, I really enjoy using this. I would not throw away my real keyboard. For real work, I need a keyboard and mouse, be it wireless or wired, doesn't matter to me, as long as it works. To mess around, checking your email, a portable Raspberry Pi, Cody on the couch, Android, anything like that, it works great. So I know you guys want the answer to the $28 plus shipping question. And the answer is yes, I would recommend this. Really cool little device. Sit back on the couch, browse the internet, watch Cody. You could even program this to play simple games like SNES, NES, Neo Geo, stuff like that. I might do a video on that and see if I could set this up in RetroPie or Recall Box. That would be pretty cool. I mean, it does have the L and R button at the top. It works great within all of these operating systems that I've tested. Now, I did hook this up to my Mac really quick. I didn't make a video of it. It also works in Mac with no trouble at all. So, yes, I would recommend this. I will leave a link down below. You can check it out. I enjoy using this. Now, if you don't need one, don't go out and buy one. But this is really cool. If you're looking for a small QWERTY keyboard with a trackpad, definitely take a look at this on Amazon and see if it's something for you. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe because I got a lot more coming. And like always, thanks for watching.